Hello there, in this video we are going to review the save for later feature we also have available in modern Serpent Online sites. So here I am in a modern Serpent Online site that is actually a communication site. And to show you this new feature, I'm going to access one of the document libraries I have in that site, indeed the default one. And as soon as the document library loads, what I'm going to do is just to select or a folder or either a folder or a file in the document library so you can see that we can save for later the folder selector of the document library selected. In this, as you can see here, I have already some folders and files selected here for say, uh, sorry, uh, that I have already tagged as save for later. So, for instance, let's imagine I select this other folder and as you can see here, as soon as I select the, fo the, the folder or even I do mass over, I have the ability to tag the folder I've saved the selected item for later. Or I can use the same action I have available in the document library actions bar over here. So let's click on save for later. So uh, yeah, this document, this folder in this document library is going to be identified as save for later for my user. The same happens if I select any file stored here. So for instance, let's imagine I'm going to select this PDF and I can, I'm going to click uh, on the save for later action that is at the file level. So I don't need uh, indeed to select the file. I just click uh, on save. Um, yeah, the uh, file has been tagged to uh, as save for later in this site. So one question you may be doing yourself is where I can see all the files and folder I have uh, identified as save for later across my sites. Well, the easy answer is that these files and folders should uh, show up in the SharePoint start page. So I'm going to refresh the SharePoint start page on this tenant and I'm going to, to scroll down. Here we are. And as you can see here, I have a search for later section where I should see all the files and folders I have marked as safe for later on any site. Indeed, I know seeing the last file I mark as save for later, but I've seen other files I previously mark I previously mark as save for later. So again, I'm going to refresh to refresh sorry this site just to be sure everything is fine in terms of the save for later feature. So I should see uh, yeah two folders as save for later and also two files. Yeah, so everything it seems is that's the case. So I have two files, two folders. I'm going to refresh again the SharePoint start page. I'm going to make a scroll down here. Yeah, as you can see here, the last PDF is, uh, is showing up here. And you may be wondering, what about the folders? Well, bad news here. I don't see the folders in uh, I don't see the folders in this save for later view. But I also have some good news. You can see the folders and the files in the Save for Later view in OneDrive for Business. So I'm going to refresh this view in OneDrive for Business. And in this Save for Later view, you should see both the file and the folder. So as summary, I cannot see the folders in the save point online start page, but I can see the folders and the files in the save for later view in OneDrive for Business. Additionally, I can see any file mm, that I, I have marked as save for later using the Serpent Mobile app. But this is not, uh, uh, but I'm not going to show this in this video. And that's all for my site. I hope you have found this video interesting. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.